In this video, we're going to be discussing how to find the average rate of change for a function. Average rate of change is often abbreviated AROC, and AROC is equal to f of b minus f of a over b minus a. Now, we're often going to see this formula with a problem like this one. Find the average rate of change for this function on the interval from negative 1 to 3. And here we have a function. Notice I have made the negative one in the a values orange and the b in the three values green. The reason I've done that is to draw your attention to how these are connected to each other. So in a particular problem, we're gonna start by figuring out what f of b is equal to. Well, the reason I made the three and the b green is to show you that b is just three. So f of b is going to be f of three I plug 3 in for x in the f of x function, and doing just a little bit of arithmetic, I'm able to find that f of 3 is equal to 13. I'm going to go ahead and save this piece of information over in the top right corner of the screen. Next, I'm going to do the exact same thing, but with f of a. So f of a is negative 1. Plug negative 1 in for x in the f of x function. Notice the parentheses that I keep around the negative one as I do this. We then follow order of operations and we're able to determine that f of negative one just equals nine. Once again, I take this piece of information and I store it over on the right side of my screen. Now I'm ready to plug into the AROC equation. I replace f of b with 13, f of a with nine, b with three, and a with negative one. I then go through the arithmetic to find that this simplifies into four over four, and four over four is simply one. And there you have it. That's a step-by-step -step process as to how to use the average rate of change formula to determine the average rate of change over an interval.